I'm going to show you how to set up a Shopify store. Say for instance you want to move your stuff over from Etsy to your very own Shopify store and you've signed up to the basic account or a free account or whatever and we're going to create a storefront that looks something like this. Now this is built on a free theme which is the one that should automatically be installed actually when you when you sign up. I think they I think now they install it straight away. So we've got this banner at the top which is automated or you can use these little arrows. Then you've got your logo and the mega menu and these all link to your categories or whatever. And then we have a banner image to just browse the latest products and then underneath you can put a featured collection and then that scrolls across as well if you want it to. So I quite like the chevrons and then you've got little links to collections or if you wanted to do some lookbooks as well then you can link that to those and then you can have a featured product sign up for the email and then your linky links below and your mission statement. I'll show you how to input your social media links there and we've got here the refund policy and the privacy policy. What happens when you click on one of these products it takes you to the product page. So for today it's just this initial page that I'm showing you how to set up and import your Etsy listings. Right so let's get into it. This is the website that we're going to be creating. Um, I've just run through it and made it and I made a pretend website called Lazarus Vintage which I forgot to mention so this is me from the future coming in here. If you want to purchase this website you can I can transfer it over to you if you want to start up a vintage shop called Lazarus Vintage buy the domain and you can buy this website that we've created. Enjoy the rest of the video. want to start with your Etsy and get the CSV download so you go into settings and options and fourth one along download data and then what you can do is download the CSV which will be all your current listings for the example what I'm going to be using is just a generic CSV file from Shopify itself you download that and it will give you the title description price currency quantity tags blah 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 and then save that in a folder where you know where it is and you can also download your reviews and your shop settings which will be documents and stuff like that as well so do that step one Once you've signed up to the uh, Shopify as a trial or basic plan or whatever plan you've, you've decided to sign up, you'll get to the admin which will look something like this. You see you've got this menu list down the left then your settings at the bottom and then stuff to do to set up. So if we go first of all, if you go in and you check your name and put all your details in, your billing information, so you complete it pretty much like you did with um, Etsy or wherever else it was you were selling. So put all your deets in there, check the plan you're on, sort out your billing, where your payments are going, so you put your bank details and everything in there. You want to just go through all of those, fill them all in. Here's your policies which you also want to fill in. You can create these from a template so if you click that and then it says blah 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 so you then just fill in all your details here where it says the site so then you put your name so have a good read through and then just fill in the bits that you need to do so that's that what we want to do next is what it says add your first product now if you're if you downloaded the um, CSV file, what we can do is come to products and you want to import products. Click add the file and then we're going to import these apparel and then upload import products. Okay, while that's cooking, let's go back to the home page and now we can customize the theme so we can click that but so you know where it is in future 
the theme is here. So you've got sales channels and actually before we do that, let's go into creating the menus. So if you click on products and we've got collections and let's create a collection. So we want um, dresses and then here you put all your SEO bump about dresses that you want and then what the tag. So then when you create your product, you want to make sure you include this tag if you want the dress to be included. Now I made some assets in Adobe Express. Let's use that one. So let's say Ditsy. And then you want to save that. Let's see if the products have loaded. Yeah, okay. So let's just pick a couple that might fit the description. So let's do this skirt and top and then if we're going to bulk edit up to columns click on tags and then we add the tag save that collections ah there it is so you see that's shown up now so that's one collection down okay so let's go into the online store here we can pick our themes now it comes with the dawn theme which is a free theme what you can do if you don't want that one is uh, it's a good one to build upon the dawn theme i've used it in quite a few websites i quite like it but you can go to the theme store and see if there's any other themes you can explore and have a look through those so they've got paid or free ones so just have a look you might want to buy a, a paid one but might be an idea just to start off with the dawn just to kind of get a feel for things so we have to customize and this is what it looks like so you can see the products have come in so this is your starting off point now what i said i would do is make it look something like this but since I said that, I've kind of changed my mind because then I went on Adobe Express and I created those little banners and things. So we can do the structure like this, but the, the look might look a bit different if you see what I mean. For instance, let's start at the top. So we've got the announcement bar. No, let's start actually. So if we go into the middle cog wheel there, we've got the theme settings. So here we can set the logo. So I want to add an image and I created this logo for this invented vintage shop. So let's bring that in and then you can change the size of it so you can make it a bit bigger if you want or a bit smaller. So that's your logo and then we can change the colours. So I'm doing this kind of sort of purpley colour don't we because that's the, the new brand colour sort of periwinkle blue so we've got that blue and the purple so that's a good start and let's make the buttons purple we can always come in and change them if, if it looks horrendous so that's that one and let's add another scheme because i've done very kind of like fruity fruit salady warm pinky sort of graphics Right, that's just an example for now. Go to the typography and change that. Let's just pick something basic just to get us going. Again, we can always change the fonts. Right, all that might be a little bit advanced for this stage. Brand information. This is where you write a little bit of blurb about who you are and what you do, what your mission is or, you know, any kind of like message that you want to say what the brand is about. And it might be an idea to sort of save as you go along as well, just so you don't lose anything. And then here you put your social media details in. That's mine. Basically just putting mine in because this is a made up shop. I'm just using these for now, just so they show up on the page. So now we've got this is the sections. So here we are at the announcement bar. So click on that. So here we can put in if we've got a brick and mortar shop, we can put in our address. And then if we want to that to link to anything, we put that in there. An about page or 
if we link it to a page with, with a map on how to get there that could be quite handy so if you click the little arrow to the left again and then you can add an announcement so then you can say free worldwide shipping if you can afford to do that good on you <laughs> although customers must know that you've just added it to the price another announcement welcome to our store just leave that one there so then if we go into click that and then we can give it a scheme so we can change that let's change it to black um, do we want social media icons so if we want them to show click that yes and then to have it automated kind of auto rotate um, these country region selectors and the language selectors um, we'll leave those for now because you have to go into the settings and set them up and that's quite a, a new thing that's a little bit advanced so we'll leave those for the moment save that close that down there so now we've got the header bar which is the menu let's just leave that for now we can choose whether we want a drop down or a mega menu so let's pick a mega menu because that's what we've got on the sample one and here we can choose what happens whether it stays when you scroll up or not i had it so it reduces the logo size as it scrolls up so if you can see that's quite cool don't need to separate a line color i think it's already on white so that's fine and the menu's fine at black so here at the bottom we've got the padding it's on 20 at the moment i just thought it was a little bit too much let's just bring that down to 12 and then we've got the hero section so if you click you can actually click on it straight from there or you can go back and what we can do is we can have a look at the free images and see if there's anything like in there that's the one that we had we could use that i wanted to do a kind of a different look for this one oh that's cool I like that one okay so let's select that one so we've got the banner height we can change Anyway, let's just leave it at long and then we can change the heading size and then obviously you can change that to say whatever you want it to say what do we have oh we just left it didn't we and then eventually we will link at the moment that links to all products but if you want to, like a special collection then you would link it here to one of your collections let's link it to summer and then we can say so for this section then so again if we go back and we close this image banner down and then we've got the featured collection here and we don't want it to say featured products let's say new in heading size small that's fine then we can put a description if we want and then we choose a collection that we want so and then we can decide how many products we want it to show let's make it full width so we can have enable view all if the collection has more products so yes it does i quite like the outline button so it's changed the look of the button and i had this enable the carousel on the desktop so then we can slide that across if you want to see what it looks like on a mobile we just click that i think see it's automatically responsive and then we can change the color scheme if we want pink background that we made or or we can change it to like grey or whatever but let's just leave it white for now and then the other thing let's do square if we've got more than one image in the product show second image on hover which is quite good and then at the bottom here change the padding down a bit to say 24 on the product card where it says image shape this is where we get that chevron because then that kind of like subconsciously makes you want to scroll so let's save that what else did we have so we had the products we had the new in with the chevrons now oh, then i had these collections so we can add let's go back here so here we can add a section and we want a collection list so 
click on each one independently and then we select the collection so let's do the timeless glam select gothic romance don't forget to select and da -da -da, let's do summer now I can't remember because I'm such a clown whether which ones I did as squares and which ones I did as portraits so I might have to come back and change some of these because I wanted this image ratio to be portrait oh that's fine there we are so might have to go back into the collection at some point and make that capitalized now I don't want this word collections so we just highlight that and delete it we can add more columns if we want but i think threes three is good and on the mobile layout just show one column at a time you can enable the swipe on the mobile as well so let's save that so our collection list next so that looks kind of cool and if we view so let's see what we've done so far so you can see that's little banner at the top it's doing it automatically changing so we've got the new in gothic romance we had the summer we've got a few more listed in the summer so that's fine yes that's looking good so far so far so good right so what did we have next okay so we had some more collections so if we add another section we can now add we can do featured products collection list we can write some text image with text right i did want a video here again delete the heading so we don't want that select video it's uploading so i created the these assets in adobe express which is really good it's free now if you use canva they've set it up so it's really similar to canva the user interface is very very similar to canva so you should get the hang of it quite quickly basically all the assets that you, that they give you are all free and it's it's so much better than canva <laughs> check it out i might do a video on that on, at some point if you'd like me to do a video on that then let me know right so we've got our video in or we if we've got a video on youtube we could just add the url there so i want this make section forward reduce that padding again okay so let's save that have a look at it there we are so that's that okay now we could just thinking we could move the video up if we wanted we slide that up it becomes the hero section so it's the first thing you see yeah quite like that right so now we want a slideshow that's what we had here so to get that looking like that we do so we put autumn vibes in there browse collection and then we link that to collection and of course i haven't created an autumn one but let's just do summer use the outline button style now to get this white box off we click where it says show container on desktop so we don't want that and then we want to move it to the top left and we want the alignment to be left then we want to change the image so we select an image let's choose that one so we can't read the text so let's move that from top left to bottom left there we are so that's slide number one and then if we go to slide number two and we just repeat the process so, so let's pick an image 
if we don't have an image of our own then we can explore free images so we can look in the women's fashion or let's look in see research spring see what comes up but again i mean you'll hopefully have your own marketing images that you've taken anyway that'll do right so select that and then we want to move that heading to top left range left there we are, you can see that now and then the button link to a collection let's pretend we've got a spring collection and we click that so let's save that and update the page refresh the page and let's see what we've got so see how these move as well they're animated that's kind of cute And then actually what I'll do with those is I shall just move this summer one above gothic just to separate the yellows with the purple in the middle. I think it just balances that out a bit better. There we are. So that looks better, doesn't it? And then we've got the slider there. That's it. So the slide height, let's make that large. Let's do dots, auto rotate slides. So now underneath we've got these little dots instead. That's it. Now we've made it large, we can see her face. So that's better, isn't it? And then on mobile, this is what it looks like. Cool. All right, so go back to the desktop. Now then, we have these sliders that we've just done. And then underneath that, we've got a feature product. If we go back, close up these so it doesn't look so confusing. And then if we add section and we find feature product, where are you? There we are, feature product. And we add that. So we've got a title. Let's make that small. So if we click on the box and then at the top, we can select the product that we want. Let's choose this nice silk summer top. And then we can change the color scheme if we want. Prefer it on white actually. Make it large from the desktop. And then we can change whether we want want it on the left or on the right and then this is the image zoom so if we just save that i'll show you what happens i've done click and hover so what happens is you have to click and then it enlarges the image it doesn't do it straight over hover over you have to click it i don't know how many people will actually know to do that how useful it is but anyway so let's go back here again if we click in this box we've got these sections here so don't really want that text to show we want the name to show do we want the price to show if we don't then we hide it we don't need variance not selling vintage and we don't need quantity not selling vintage because it's always worn isn't it and we can do the buy buttons yes or no and add the share buttons or we can add a block and then we come to the footer which is this section at the bottom so immediately we want to change the color on that black is good right i'm going to take off the email sign up on here we're going to add that later on we haven't added shop that's an app that we need to add and we haven't added that at the moment so that's why we can't see that um it's all right Oh, the cat's come in and it's raining outside. She's demanding to be dried off. She wants me to dry feet and everything. So, um, right, where was I? What do we want? We want to show the policy links. There we are, privacy policy. That's just popped up, you see, because we added that earlier on, didn't we? So, back to the footer. What we want to do is add a block and we want a menu. So, at the moment, just says quick links in here, but we haven't got any because we haven't created the menu yet. 
so if we save and we click on here where it says footer menu that's going to take us out of this design thingy and it's going to take us to creating a menu so here the footer menu we need to add some menu items what did we have in the menu items we had press and publications and then we click there and it wants us to, to link to a page that we've created or a blog or a blog post or something it will be a page that will be about press and publications which of course we haven't created one yet so let's just click that for now and then we'll have to come back and create the pages and then relink them let's just do these for now just so we've got a menu to add to the home page and then we can sort out the, the it, yeah, yes all right then we can sort out the content later sizing chart so we add menu item let's just click home page add that and then we had selling to us again so these are all pages that we need to create the copy for and we want an about page so so save that menu then if we click this little arrow here it takes us back to the navigation so we've got the main menu the footer menu and we want to add a menu so we've got middle menu and then we've got returns which again we need to create it will be here policies so where i showed you earlier at the beginning we create the all the policies in that bit there and it will show up once we've created it privacy so you see privacy we did do that one so that's some more menus added now if you wanted to go into the main menu and we wanted to instead of saying catalog we say summer and then we can go to our collections and click summer so that's how we link up our menus that's just added those and they will be going to the top menu if you want to add underneath say this or above let's just do ditzy dresses so add that now if you wanted to do a sub menu then we just drag it underneath and if you can see it sort of sidesteps in so now inside dresses we've got bridal so if we save that and then if we go back to themes customize and we're back in here we scroll to the bottom and we see how the quick links has changed now we've got those that we added but it's all straight out like that and we don't want it we don't want it straight out like that so what we need to do is we need to add a section hang on in the wrong bit footer that's where we are so we add a block and we click menu so we want another menu so then we click on that menu and we change it change menu so now we've got important menu so we select that and then we can change what we've called it here so that and then we've got our mission statement copy that add a block at the bottom here and we want text so there and then we can copy in our mission and save that and let's go to the preview so we've got our page our video we click that it will take you to the summer selection that we selected if we click on any of these products we go to the product page so i won't do anything on that now this video is quite long as it is so i can do another video on that and then we added our some collections featured product and the menu at the bottom oh we're nearly done one last thing add section and email sign up there we are call it whatever you like <laughs> so just click in there get all of our hot news there you are so there you have it that's getting you started with shopify so that gets your front page started gets you a few products listed hopefully you will have already gone in and sorted out all your payments and and all that stuff if you need help on doing all those settings or if you need help you know getting creating new products for instance uh, let me know in the comments below and i can do a video on that or if there's anything that was unclear and you'd like help on then let me know i shall do a video on that as well but in the meantime bottoms up and let's have some fun i hope you enjoyed it and subscribe as they say do all that because it really does help and i shall catch you later ta ta